You can practice this meditation of coming back informally as a way of quieting and collecting your mind at any time of the day. Simply bring a full yet gentle attention to the breath, relaxing with the in-breath, relaxing with the out-breath, and then continue on with your activities. As a reminder, for some people the breath is not the best anchor or home base. It may be hard to detect and connect with or in some way unpleasant. So if that's the case for you, you might let the play of changing sounds be your anchor or the feelings of sensations throughout the body, or perhaps just the sensations in your hands. It's fine to experiment and find what sensory present home base most helps you to settle and quiet the mind. Once you get some skill in coming back and connecting with your anchor, you'll then have more moments of mindful presence. There's a wonderful ad I saw for a necklace. It's a shape of a dog bone, and on it it says, Sit, Stay, Heal. And what I love about that is that this is really a description of our practice, that mindful presence, what I sometimes call being here, is a source of healing. It's really the source of everything we cherish, love, wisdom, creativity. I remember at a conference some years back that explored the benefits of mindfulness, some of the network news stations were interviewing the Dalai Lama. He had just published a book about happiness, and they asked him to describe his happiest moment, the happiest moment of his life. And he took a long, long pause, and his response, I think now. I really thought that was about the most accurate response he could have ever given because it's only in the actual experience of here and now that we can experience our full aliveness, our full heart. There are two basic components in cultivating mindful presence and they're often described as the two wings of presence. One of the wings of mindfulness is recognizing what's happening. The second wing is allowing whatever we notice to be here. I find it helps me a lot to consider these two wings through two questions. And the first, what's happening inside me right now? When I pose that question to myself, and you might do that as you listen, what's happening inside me right now? It energizes that capacity in us to notice. And that's the first wing of mindfulness, this noticing, this recognizing. The second question I ask myself as a follow-up, can I let this be? So whatever I notice, maybe it's sleepiness or sadness, anxiety, excitement, can I let this be? Can I simply allow what's here to be as it is? Now, in mindfulness practice, in exploring these two wings, we might still use an anchor. We might still have a way of coming back when we drift off in thoughts. But the primary intention is being here, being with the life of the moment. So we do that with these two wings, recognizing what's going on and allowing it. As we practice together, I'll encourage you to use a support in recognizing, which is just to name what you notice. You'll find if you name with a mental whisper what's there, if with some interest you just put a word on it, it helps to bring that recognizing function of mindfulness to a real level of clarity. So just a soft mental note. You might be feeling some sleepiness, and you'll just lightly note sleepy, sleepy or anxiety, anxious, anxious. Or perhaps you'll hear a loud sound, hearing, hearing. Or feel cold, and cold, cold. So this simple mental noting is a way of helping to bring alive this wing of mindfulness, this recognizing wing. Now the allowing wing of mindfulness has a quality of acceptance and respect. 
we're saying, yes, this is the life of the moment. I'm allowing it to be as it is. I sometimes think of it as if we're bowing to what's right here. We're not saying, I like this, but we're honoring that this is the actuality of our experience. So with the allowing wing of mindfulness, you might just simply mentally whisper yes. Just the word yes, that's a kind of bow to what's here. Or for some people, the words, this too, whatever comes up, sleepiness, this too, anxiety, this too, creates the space of that second wing of mindfulness. The magic of this practice, the magic of mindfulness, is that in the moments of mindful presence, when you're recognizing what's happening and saying yes, your sense of identity changes. There's a shift. Let's say you're feeling anxiety. When you notice it and say yes, you're no longer living inside the self that's reacting to something. You're no longer the fearful self. Instead, in recognizing and allowing, you open to the consciousness that's aware. You open to a quality of beingness your sense of being enlarges. And this gives profound inner freedom and choice. So let's explore this in our next meditation, being here. Find a way of sitting that's comfortable, a posture that allows you to be alert yet relaxed. And just take some moments to soften and release any obvious areas of tension. This meditation of mindful presence, of being here, begins with collecting the attention using our anchor. So gently bring your attention to your home base, whatever you've chosen for your primary anchor, be it the breath or sounds, sensations. Letting your anchor be in the foreground and just offering it a relaxed attentiveness. Sense how your home base connects you with presence. You might whisper, here, here, and just become familiar with the sense of presence. When thoughts arise taking you away from being here, you can notice them without judgment. Acknowledge them with that simple note, thinking, thinking. And gently re-arrive, relaxing right here and now. You might be aware of the breath or your home base in the foreground, yet including the background experiences of sounds, the other sensations in your body, perhaps whatever feeling or mood there is in your heart. In this practice of being here, we continue with the anchor in the foreground until some other experience that's strong asks for our attention. At that time, the practice is to let your anchor recede to the background and offer mindfulness to what's predominant.
You can do this by naming what's here and bowing to it, in some way saying yes, letting it be. For instance, if you're noticing strong sensations are arising, you might name them heat or chills, tingling, aching, twisting, stabbing, vibrating, without a mental effort. You don't have to go through a thesaurus, but just to name as well as you can what you're aware of. And then sense the possibility of saying yes to whatever it is. In some way, energetically, you're bowing and saying, okay, this too. Notice what happens as you allow what's here to be here, as you let be. If you've been attending to strong sensations, notice how they change, how they become more intense or less intense. And if the sensations are no longer calling your attention, simply return again to your home base letting the breath or whatever anchor you've chosen, again, be in the foreground. In a similar way, you might notice that a strong emotion arises. And again, you bring mindfulness to these inner weather systems by meeting what arises without judgment, simply naming and bowing. You might offer a soft mental note, fear, fear, or happiness, or sadness, excitement, grief, whatever it is. Name it, contact it, and just to bow, let it be. If any time finding a word feels burdensome, just Acknowledge what the emotion is like with a close attention and then let be, allowing the experience to unfold in a natural way. See if you can notice emotions as a pattern of sensations in the body. And if your mind goes off into a story, notice that. Pause. Gently come back, re-arriving in the bodily experience of the emotion. So again and again, you're noticing what's happening right here and bowing, saying yes, letting it be. You might find that coming back and being here become fluid processes. The mind drifts and you remember to come back to the breath. And then you start noticing some other strong experience. Some tightness in the shoulders. Perhaps a grip of tension or anxiety at the chest. You can start fresh in any moment, just simply naming what you notice. Mm, Anxiety, anxiety. And bowing, saying yes. 
As you do notice, does it become more intense or weaken? Does it change to a different state? Sometimes if you find anger there, you might name it, say yes to it, and find it turns to grief or to fear. Keep on starting right where you are, naming and bowing to the life that's here. And if nothing's compelling, bringing your attention gently to your primary anchor, relaxing with the in-breath, relaxing with the out-breath, or with whatever you're focusing on, sounds, sensations, being here, moment to moment. So in this silence to follow, just let your intention as you practice be simple. To rest in presence, to recognize the changing flow of experience, name what's compelling, and bow. Say yes. Yes.